world of Final Fantasy. Prologue. Awake at last. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock. Time to wake up. I gotta get to work. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. The streets sure are quiet today. Hey, I'm here. Huh? How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. 
Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on. Get together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. your age, huh? Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. <sighs> okay, okay. I get it already. Very sorry. <sighs> so, what's up? I'm all ears. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh, you really are all ears. Uh, what? Forget it. So long. Have you seen anybody this morning? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? Ah! Oh, hello! You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah! Look! Come with me right uh, now! Easy! Uh, uh, Have you bumped into anyone today, besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake... We've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the gun! Huh? What? Hey, uh, hey! You hey, can't just uh, leave! Uh, Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? Huh. Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? 
Now I just see why Anna Crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused? Uh, hey, whoa, uh, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset, Let's too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. But I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. you live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you the like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good uh, with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Mirage Keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct. Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles. Miracles? Our arms can do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them. You were masters of them. Powerful living illusions known as mirages. In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you and those are the seven strongest mirages of all. With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world. Oh. So, we could have ruled the world because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours. And you can then make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's then try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? points, also the known as AP. You automatically gain a little bit of AP each the time your turn comes around in battle. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do, so make the sure you use them wisely.
past no the mirage could stand up to you dude seriously dude the seriously it's hard to believe i'm sure it is as far as i can tell you two have lost everything all the memories and experience you've ever accumulated oh but wait of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out huh so not only did they lose the mirages they had they've been the stripped of all their memories of the mirages too but, I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely on the affected. What? Listen, let me show you something. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so like... You're saying whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> <sighs> Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin. So, this must be Grimoire. What? to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. I guess we should head straight down this path? It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? You know, just this once. What? Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chip. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay.
going to need this. It looks sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chips prismarium. Every time you find a new of the Mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special Mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new Mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time, the mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the Choco Chip, then the use your prism. to the claim that mirage for your own. Go on, the select the prism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. Chick is inside the prismarium. It's yours to the key. That was a good fight. Good job. Choco Chick running around in the prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strengthen the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better the yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't then make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked. But look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. 
think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. Way you two can be switch between giant size and lilikin size. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to be in lilikin form. The best way to learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it up in no time. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely. This may appear to be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the guinea golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Gimme, gimme! So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board. The Choco Chicks come along for a stroll. Huh? Yay! You have found it! Now, try examining the Gimme Golem one more at a time. Huh? You found something. The Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. 
You can also use them to change your mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your mirage boards. Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. Huh? We found something. So, Tama, I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually detect. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own worlds. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like, right there, on the tip of my tongue. Now, what's this? This is the Cotton Mercrypt. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say... Mirages? Oh, man, let's go catch them. This one's not very cute. Mon! Why did you... Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Murkris, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. Oh no, did you two die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkrift did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes, that's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then the whisk you to safety. Although, it the cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Mercury. Oh, the yeah! And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this, sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. 
She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience crossing between planes. So, she's over at North Promenade. Wow, she's so tiny. Is she a... Uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Chocobo Colina! Oh! <coughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? You can call me Chocolate! I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm! Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right! Care to shop? I've got the goods! Chocoboco Chain! Slow down! What kind of operation is this? It's called a shop, dear! You're in luck! I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco Connection! So hey, are you ready to head back to... mongering and uh let's see oh i'm good at hoarding things yep hoarding hoarding why do you think i'm here you must have tons of prismariums more than you can handle right well we're still working on it uh-huh you'll have scads of them before long you're gonna need a place to unload yeah they are kind of bulky well who's got you covered this pixie right here Anacrow made me a special prison case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh, yeah. This prismarium belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case.
Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I the will. It's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place down tighter than a Malboro was bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphy guarantee. Huh? But, but where are you going now? Oh, well. Somewhere what else, of course. Mean? Yeah, that's hmm? not exactly very helpful. Awesome. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? But you've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire. And light banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science? Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> She's gone. Dude. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's Anna Crow for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? It's me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pity the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? That wasn't so bad. Oh, uh, yeah, I want names.
much at this time? I know, I know. But could we see all this stuff before? Now that you've fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. And if you happen to know some Libra magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Got it. Yep. Very good thing to keep in the mind, Lom. Uh, why are you repeating it? And just for my sake? Chapter 2 Foretold by Prophecy Hey sis, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. supposed to get on? Absolutely! All the aboard! Oh, dude! Oh. oh, hey sis, let's park it here. Sure.
Uh, hi. <laughs> You're so tiny. Whoa, pluck my needles. I don't know how long it's been since we've had new passengers. Huh? 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 Right, tickets, please. But I'm also the train conductor, so... Tickets, please! The conductor? Well, all right. If Tama can talk, then why not? But the train tickets that we need are right there here. Right the hell? Wow! Semi-lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes on one of these in a swell spell. Right then. Pleasant journey. Where did those tickets come from? In a crow made sure, I was provided with everything we could ever need. Yep, yep. Uh, okay then. So why a semi-lifetime pass? And not a lifetime one? This place rules! Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Hey, Tama, why don't you hitch a ride? Roger the Dodger! Pardon. Huh? If I may ask, would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, us? We're, uh... Ah! <gasps> Mirage is from the Hamushin Army! <laughs> Bahamu? What? A Bahamu? Well, the Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages in their employ. Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine by me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey, wait up! Uh, one! Moose, what's your beef, huh? You want to make it sound like they're made of beef. <sighs> yeah, Lon, don't you know what's at stake? What the? What just happened? Why wasn't I able to imprison that mirage? Didn't you see the light that's surrounding it? 
That means it's the beholden to another keeper. The what? B.O.? The smell? Uh, no! What I mean is, the Mirage already has another the Master. So until you give their boss the old he's the hoe, you won't be able to claim it for yourself. Whoever wrote that little hook in? Ron, it's nay on the fourth wall stuff. Giants. Oh, whoops. Are they Bahamutian soldiers? But they drove the mirages off for us. It's just like the prophecy, word for word. But which one? Well, we know how it ends. Please, may I speak with you? Huh? Oh, uh, sure. Two of you. You've traveled here from another world. Oh, well, I wouldn't... I mean... Actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. And we're Mirage Keepers, too. Oh, Ron, don't tell her! Why not? Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm, like, exuding all over. Mon, you don't even know what exude means. There is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly... Stop by Castle Cornelia. So let's find this Casa Cornelius place. Doesn't Casa mean up? It's gotta be higher up. Well, you've uh, got the direction correct. Even if the rest of that was completely off the base. That woman must be important if she's inviting us to the castle. <laughs> 